All right. Shalom. Shalom. First off and foremost, as always, I want to say call Hulayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honor be unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I'm going to say a shalom to you, Ankim, out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahawar Kakwadash. Okay, so this is going to be a quick lesson, you know, um, impromptu. You know, open form, you know, just going with the Holy Spirit, you know, and um, I was just thinking about, you know, how, you know, we're living in a very beautiful time, you know, a very yeah, pod time. You know, we are witnessing, you know, we are actually, you know, seeing with our own eyes, you know, the downfall of our enemy. OK, of our enemies, I should say, you know, we are we are seeing the um, the downfall of our enemies you know, uh, um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? We are we are seeing a downfall of our enemies at a at a at a very, you know, fast pace, if you will, because the Most High. Now, of course, things uh, now, of course, things have to be done on in an earthly level. You know, things have to play out on you know th you know through gradualism, you know, laws and legislation and things of that matter. You know, but the Lord is showing us that, hey, man, this thing is is coming quick. You know, and what did the elder apostles hire deem this year to be through the spirit power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, the year of hope. OK, 2023, the, the year of hoping that all the prophecies come to pass. OK, and and what and what are we waiting? Excuse me. And what are we waiting for? All right. As far as privacy goes, we are waiting on the MOTB to be to become mandatory because that's going to be, you know, the uh, new currency. OK, we are waiting on World War Three. You know, uh, 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 the return of Yahweh Shai. All right. And ultimately, you know, uh, uh, this place being destroyed by nuclear missiles. OK. And also, too, uh, uh, I can't forget to mention, you know, Jacob's trouble. OK. Uh, famine, you know. Um, uh, uh, um, what else? Um, uh, spirits crave revenge. You know, roaming around the streets and just, you know, and that, well, actually, that's what the Jacob's trouble. You know, things are going to, you know, be, you know chaos out here man you know but hey man you know we're living in a very beautiful time you know we're living in a very time you know because we know you know us in this truth we know that you know uh, uh um we are going soon you know to be delivered you know and and, and while we you know hope and you know and uh hoping that and have faith anyhow by shamal shah waiting upon our deliverance waiting upon the lord okay meanwhile we see our enemies you know crumbling Okay, Babylon is crumbling from the inside out. All right. So we're quickly, let's get this quick precept. All right. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach the Apocrypha. And this is the book of Sirach 25 and verse 7. And it says, There be nine things which I have a judge in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that will have joy of his children, right? And he that liveth to see the to see the fall of his enemy, right, man? And we are gonna and we're gonna witness the downfall, the the overthrow of our enemies, man. Okay, starting off with Esau Edom because Esau Edom, you know, he's the um the head of the crafty council, okay? You know, uh uh uh, uh, uh he's the one that's uh, that has been oppressing us. The Israelites for for centuries. OK, he's the one that want to put that di that digital all inside you. He want to put that rice device inside you. He wants to turn you OK into into the uh, into the ultimate slave and be um, uh, completely subject unto him. OK. So right now, you know, is a as a great time to be happy is a good time to be, you know, uh, um. Uh, very hopeful because we're seeing the downfall of Esau Edom. We are seeing the uh, the the um, the uh, finish line. You know the, uh, the 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 last lap of America, man. Okay, and this place, listen, listen, man, this place is getting old. Okay, the people here, you know, the the, the inhabitants, you know, they're through. Okay, the ways the way of life here is 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 getting worse by the day. Okay, people are openly worshiping Satan. People are, are openly. You know, uh, just being demons out here 
And that's because of who? Of Esau, Edom. Because he's ruling. The wicked is ruling. All right. He's in, he's in the power seat. OK, but guess what? That power seat is going to be taken under him. Excuse me. It's going to be taken from under him very, very soon. All right. The triumph of the wicked is short. Let's get that. This is the book of Job. Uh, Job 20 and verse four. And it says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man, was since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Right, man. And, and if you look at it, this man has been ruling for half of a day because according to the most high, OK, the um, a thousand years to the Lord is one day. And for and, and um, actually, let me get it real quick. Let me just get the scripture. OK, because this dude. He thinks that he's going to continue to, to rule forever. Nope. All right. The Lord's going to the Lord is going to confound you, you know, and that's why he's puffed over pride. That's why his pride has deceived him because he's been in power for so long. He thinks that he's going to keep ruling. OK, nah, man, it's, it's, it's time for this earth to uh, to get under new management. All right. Um, a thousand years in one day. OK, let's see that real quick. I know it's in Peter's, though. I just didn't want to butcher the scripture. Okay, this is the book of 2 Peter 3 and verse 8. And it says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Okay, that one day is, is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So to us, a thousand years is a, you know, a thousand years, right? But to the Lord, okay, um, a thousand years is one day. That's nothing. Okay, that is nothing, man. So this, so this, so 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 these dudes, these 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 Edomites, okay, our evil twin brother has been in a rulership for half of a day, five hundred years. You know, uh, five centuries. In a century is what a hundred years. So he's not been in power for that long. Okay, that's why the Lord wants us to wait upon Him. Okay. Wait upon him so that way he may rise up against the prey. Let's get that. Zephaniah 3 and verse 8. And it says, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And, and ultimately, that's going in. Into, uh, uh, that's going into the valley of Jehoshaphat. OK, my uh, uh, Yahweh's judgment. OK, um, Yahweh Shapak, because that's where he's going to go. That, excuse me. That's where the Lord is going to assemble all these nations. OK, in that in, in that in that valley, that big eyes plain. OK, to come together. All right. So that way the Lord can ultimately destroyed them by nuclear missiles okay because these nations they don't know that the lord is having sp the, the lord is sending out angels is sending angels upon them you know to do the bidding of the heavenly father so that way they may you know uh, um you know go down there and go to war and you know and do things that you know do things that is excuse me and do things that uh pertain to world war three if you will okay because the lord controls all all right. The Lord controls everything. All right. It says that the um, it says that the uh, the Lord controls the minds of the kings. All right. Let me get that real quick. And it's lucky if I'm going too fast, you know, what I mean, it's lucky if I'm going too fast. Uh, just Lord as well. I just hope that this, this lesson is edifying. OK, so this is the book of Proverbs 21 and verse uh, one. And it says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Right. The, the mind. OK. As the rivers of water, he turneth, uh, he, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Every way of, every way of a, of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. Right, man. So the Lord controls everything. Okay, and the Lord is, is in control. You know of the of the of the minds of these the, these kings from these from these other nations. Hey, man, come on, that's power right there. Okay, so the Lord is gonna uh, some of these nations into the valley of Jehoshaphat, so that way he can. You know, uh, uh, um, destroyed them and judged them. That's why he says, 
real quickly, if we go back to uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8, it says, uh, it says, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. What's that? All right. The indignation means what? Righteous anger. OK, and that's going to be what? Through the uh, the missiles. OK, the nuclear destruction. OK, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. OK, so the Lord is going to, you know, judge these nations, man. All right. And that's why it's, it's that's why it's a good time to be alive. All right. Because we're living in the last days of the last days of Esau's kingdom. OK, because after Esau's over with, that's good. It's going to be our turn. All right. It's going to be our turn to rule. And once we get in power, starting off with the house shy. OK, it's going to be for all eternity, man. OK, we're never going to, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, lose. All right. We, we're never going to take any L's. All right. We're never going to die again. We're never going to get sick. We're never going to, you know, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 get setbacks. All right. We're going to be in our complete prime forever. All right. We're going to we're going to uh, um, man. Listen, man, we're going to just glow. Our aura is going to man. Listen, I, I can't even explain how how glorious is going to be. Just know that it's going to be glorious. And once it actually happens, listen, it's going to be a whole lot of emotions, man. OK. So that's why it's, it's very important to, uh, to to have patience now and suffer, you know. And suffer for, you know, uh, um, you know, you have about Shema Shai and wait upon him, you know, then then once it's all said and done, we can, you know, we can, you know, uh, we can enjoy, you know, uh, uh, the the um, the rewards that the Lord's going to, you know, grant unto us. OK, because of the things that we go through now, whether it be, you know, financial issues, whether it be, you know, you're going through some shit with a woman. You know, having problems in the flesh and whatnot, whether it be, you know, a, a thorny side, you know, whether it be a, 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 a illness, a ailment, a sickness, you know, whether it be just catching hell, the spiritual battle, the mental battle, you know, just know that all these things we go through right now is worth it. It is worth it, man. OK, and don't let nobody try to tell you otherwise. Don't let Satan try to tell you otherwise. And don't let nobody out here. You know, you know, uh, try to uh, uh, sway you and trying to throw you off uh, um, the path of faith. OK. And real quickly, since I mentioned that, let's get this. Romans three and three, it says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without, without effect? The most high forbid. Yea, let the most high be true. But every man a liar as it is written. That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay, so the point was, you know, hey man, it don't matter if some don't believe. That don't mean that prophecy is not going to happen. Okay, prophecy is going to happen regardless. All right, that's why it says the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay, don't let, let me get that real quick in uh, Ezra. Going about the people's incredulity. Okay, uh, second Edges 15 and 3 says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. You know, and there's going to be a lot, a lot of demons out here that, that's going to, you know, of course, speak against us, you know, speak down upon us, you know, and all kinds of, you know, scoffing and, and you know, uh, slander, you know. But hey, that's part, that, that's part of it, man. It's going to come with it, you know. Hey, what did Yahweh Shai say? Yahweh Shai said, the server is not greater than his master. Okay, so we got to go through certain things, you know, go through, you know, hurdles and, you know, and barriers, you know, just to, you know, uh, um, overcome. But that's, but, but guess what? We, 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 we overcome through Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, just like, you know, the, the scripture, you know, that Jake, you know, always quotes in the world. Hey, man, you know, of course, you know, they, Jake got that zeal. You know, there, there is real, you know, but real quickly, let's get this. This is Philippians 4 and 13. You know, it says, I can do all things through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which strengthened me. Okay. So that's why we got to stay prayed up, you know, towards Yahweh Shah because listen, man, with Yahweh Shah nothing 
Okay, it is impossible. Nothing is impossible. All right, how should I say what? Have if you have faith the size of a mustard seed and, a, and Google the mustard seed, it's, it's it's damn near microscopic. It's small, man. Okay, how should I say if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Okay, so we are living in time of prophecy, man. Time of you know, a time of um prophecy be fulfilled, man. A time of you know, uh, um. People get it confounded. People, you know, uh, um, people um, being being in, in, in a great state of uh, of um, of all, you know, being shocked. All right, people are going to realize that prophets were among you. All right, Amen. Hey, Amen. We are living in beautiful times, man. You know, you know. Uh, well, man, listen, man. Uh, World War Three is listen, man. Uh, that's going to be some serious, man, because these nations, you know, they're getting prepared. They're getting prepared, man. All right. And real quickly. Let me get this real quick, because uh, uh, the brothers in the chat, they sent something. It said, um, let me see. Let me see. Right here, the brother sent a uh, a screenshot of an article, and it says, um, uh, "China built a hypersonic generator that could power unimaginable weapons." All right, so that alone, right there, go to show you that these nations not playing. All right, so let's go. That's China. Let's go to this. It says, um, "Let me see." Go to the uh, one more article. It says uh, North Korea shows off largest ever number of nuclear missiles at nighttime parade. So listen, man, listen, man, prophecy is happening regardless. Listen, uh, whether you believe it or not, prophecy is going to play out and, and become manifest. OK, the MOTB is the CHIP that's going to become mandatory. OK, Jacob's trouble is going to pop off. OK, World War Three. OK, the return of was shy. You know, ultimately, this place is being destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, and that's going to be the indignation of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. So we're living in beautiful times, you know. So what a beautiful time to be alive. You know, what a great time to be in this truth and serve Yahweh by Shemal Shai. That's mercy, you know. For, for, you know, um, for us to be serving Yahweh by Shemal Shai, you know, and not being out here in the world, man. Because that, that that's scary to be out here in the world in 2023 at, the, at, at, uh, at this period of time. That's scary, you know. Now, of course, you're going to have Jake that are going to wake up the last minute, you know, things like that, you know, because, you know, because uh, um, some because some Jake's are going to be set up to um, just to, you know, come back to the Lord and repent the last second. You know, the Lord is very gracious, is, is very gracious and, 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 uh, and plenteous and, and uh, mercy, you know. But for the most part, listen, man, these people are through. All right. So. You know, with that being said, I just want to say, call her name La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakodash. Once again, double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach you well. All right. And um, once again, I want to say, Shalom to you, Ankim out there. That's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahar Kakodash. And Lord's will, you edified. And with that being said, Shalom.